Good morning viewers. Today we are going to see exercise 2.4 class 9 NCE RT syllabus in that question 15 first problem. Then we will see second problem. So let me read out the question. Give possible expressions for the length and breadth of each of the following rectangles in which their area are given by. So area is equal to 25A square minus 35A plus 12. Okay. Now we have to find the length and breadth. So area is given. Area is equal to 25A square minus 35A plus 12. Now you multiply this 25 and 12. 25 into 12 will give you 300. 25 into 4 is 100. So 25 into 12 will give you 300. Now, if you multiply, you must get 300. If you add, you must get minus 35. So I am putting the value as minus 15 into minus 20. Minus into minus plus 15 into 20 is 300. So you are getting that result. Minus 15 minus 20 will give you minus 35. So, write this 25 a square as it is. This minus 35 can be split into minus 15 a minus 20 a plus 12. Now, if you take these two terms, phi a is common. So, inside the bracket, we will be having 5 a minus 3 because 5 a into 5 a, 25 a square. 5 a into minus 3, you will get minus 15 a. Now if you combine, if you take common term for these, so minus 4 is common, minus 4 into 5a you will get minus 20a, minus into minus plus 4, 3 is as 12. Now in these two terms, 5a minus 4, 5a minus 3 is common, so you can write it as 5a minus 4 into 5a minus 3. Therefore, the length is 5a minus 3 and the breadth is 5a minus 4. So this is this will give you when you multiply these two, you will get this. So this that will be the area of the given rectangle. So now we have found out the length and breadth. The second problem is given area is equal to 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12. So if you multiply 35 and 12, you will be getting minus 420. Now this can be split into a 28 into minus 15. So if you multiply 28 and minus 15 you will be getting minus 420. If you add 28 and minus 15 you will be getting this 13. So now this can be written as 35y square. This plus 13y can be split into 28y minus 15y. So if you add these two you will be getting 13y minus 12. So in this, you can take 7y as the common term. So here you will be having 5y, 7y is 35, y into y, y square, you will be getting the first term, plus 7, 4 is 28. 7y into 4 is 7, 4 is 28y. So the next will be, you take minus 3, 5, 3 is 15, minus 15y plus 4. Because minus into plus minus 4 into 3 is 12. Therefore, 7y minus 3 into 5y plus 4 are the factors for this area. So one can be, so 
5y plus 4 can be the length and 7y minus 3 can be the breadth. So that's all about this problem of finding the length and breadth for the given area as a quadratic equation. Hope you have understood uh, this problem. Thanks for watching this video. Nandri.